Justice Judith French walked a group of Ohio State University Mandela Washington Fellows through an overview of how justice is done at the Ohio Supreme Court. The Ohio State University is hosting the young African leaders with a six-week academic program on Ohio State's main campus. This group practices in the medical field, but had many questions on how the law is carried out in the United States, specifically here in Ohio. Um, as to what basically inspires her to, what's the most significant case that she's ever had that inspires her to do what she does. And um, her response was about the constitutional law and they actually think that that is the basis of everything because it affects all walks of life. From law to politics, Justice French was impressed by the wide array of questions. I, I think the most surprising was the Amnesty International question, where I was asked, um, do we work with organizations like Amnesty International, essentially to make sure that we can release our opinions peacefully? And boy, what an eye-opening question. Mandela fellow B.I. Haban said he's grateful for what he learned so he can go back to Somalia and help organizations fight for justice, especially for women. Our system of justice were distracted. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, we had, you know, some experiences that how operates in Ohio Supreme Court is which we can just go back and then adapt in our system here in our countries. While not an attorney, Kenyana says her country, Kenya, is in the middle of a transformation. I come from a country where the legal system is actually being revamped and we are trying to adopt a system of transparency. Justice French said the group's questions rejuvenate her enthusiasm for the American court system. It makes me appreciate it even more than I already do of uh, when somebody even referred to the United States judicial system as the benchmark. Um, you know, with all that's happening in the world, that's a nice thing to hear. I'm Ann Yeager for Court News Ohio.